hello my friends welcome to my channel today we're going to look at a gorgeous gorgeous lipstick this is from gucci this is my very first time buying from gucci anything from gucci so it says rouge de beauté brilliant and then it says glow and care lip color so this is i think like they do have like lots of lipsticks i think they have a matte finish they have cream finish but some reason i just it just skipped my mind i don't know i just didn't get anything from them but they have added a new lipstick to their lipstick lineup so and it does say 24 hour hydration moisture so um the rouge the beauty brilliant is the name of the lipstick i think but their unique what's unique about their does the main selling point of the product it says glow and lip sorry glow and care lip color so they're, they're kind of trying to say it's like makeup and skincare all together in one and this is an expensive product this retails for 42 dollars and you don't get a lot of product to be honest you get 1.8 grams of product um i would consider like a three gram a product uh, like a full-size lipstick you know like a max lipsticks are three grams i know max lipsticks are not like uh you know all the rage people are not running behind mac lipsticks anymore but mac definitely sets a benchmark <laughs> you know like three grams of product is a full size all right 1.8 grams of product for 42 dollars sure i'm not going to be using the entire lipstick or anything but there is the aspect of what you're paying and what you're getting you know what i mean so i definitely feel it comes to play how much you you are getting for 42 dollars it's not a full size and where is this made this is made in italy it says here it does have like the list of ingredients here because it said like um you know because of the care and uh color glow and care together i i, I kind of looked at the ingredients it does have like a moisturizing ingredients like castor oil um jojoba seed oil shea butter but it's not exactly like up there it's kind of like down there so there but they do have moisturizing ingredients and i got it in the color goldy red 25 goldy red the description of the goldy red is the gucci red so i have not bought anything from gucci so i don't know what the gucci red means is gucci is there a red in the logo i'm not sure so if you know what it is definitely let me down uh let everyone down below in the comment section so um it has like the sticker there and here it says gucci and the packaging is beautiful really really pretty it has like this pattern looks like kind of pendant or a stud an earring i don't know it just has the same thing it's a pattern and yeah it's it's pretty but i don't know i wish this it's it's kind of like a picture laminated right it's it's not going to like scratch and come off i don't know maybe if uh you know if it like wears out i think this might come out i don't know i'm not sure but um this picture is not like very high def or anything it's kind of blurry the colors are not like too pigmented or saturated but as a whole it looks really really pretty and down here it's completely gold it's not like a soft gold or my white gold it's very yellow it's like it's like uh really gaudy yellow gold it's it's pretty it's very shiny and very like um catches your attention you know what i mean so yeah goldy red in the number 25 and you get 1.8 grams of product for 42 dollars and made in italy it doesn't say anything about uh cruelty free it only says dermal dermatologically tested so i don't believe this is cruelty free just fyi so let's open it up that's what that's what it looks like and it is oh by the way not magnetic which really like uh, if this were magnetic this would have taken the packaging to a whole new level to be honest non magnetic so yeah that's what it looks like so i'm gonna just watch it one swatch that's what it looks like one swatch let's do two definitely gather some pigmentation there and another so that's like three swatches let me quickly swatch it on my lips and show it to you 
honestly i'm a little shocked by the pigmentation i'm seeing because the first time i used it it wasn't this much popping to be honest it now i think it's like warmed up to my skin and there's a lot of color and this is like a bright red as you can see so i can't tell how or uh how vibrant it would be if it was like a lighter color just like cleaning the edges so that's what it looks like you can definitely obviously as you can see it's very buildable you can definitely change it as per the degree of pigmentation you want if you want to be really really nice and vibrant you can build it up and or if you just want like a wash of color just one layer should do the trick now this is like not exactly a cream finish i feel obviously it has like a glow but i feel the consistency is very thin it's a very thin consistency lipstick but it delivers a good amount of pigmentation with each wipe so i feel it's really good and it's like a gel formula i do feel it's like a gel formula you can feel the difference it's not like a thick creamy con consistency it's definitely on the dry, uh, on, on the thinner side and i gotta agree with what they mean by glow it says like the unique selling point here is glow and care right let's first look at the glow part i do feel it's not like glossy but it has a high glow to it i gotta i gotta say i love the finish especially in like a darkly kind of lit room or like if your environment is kind of like dimly lit the glow on the lips is high shine i love it i was so impressed by how beautifully it kind of glowed and i actually do have like kind of dry patches on the lips and let me come a little bit closer ignore that big pimple there <laughs> but it did not like like a bunch up in any of the dry patches it is not clinging it does not accentuate any dry patches i it just glided on smoothly and it kind of evened out my lips i would say it definitely evened out my lips the finish is really beautiful i gotta say i'm impressed by that glow because it's not like a very wet looking lips not like high glossy but there is definitely that high shine going on there i do i do like it o overall i do like it and well let's talk about the care because that is like the main selling point that it's like very moisturizing is really good too i gotta say um it's as you can see you, even with the dry patches on my lips it really went on smoothly it doesn't do did not cling and uh it does slightly kind of come out of the lip line i feel so if you're very very particular about it staying inside your lip line definitely use a lip liner but because it's not like a very very pigmented product it doesn't look like it's like uh i don't know like smeared all over nothing like that at all not at all it just looks like a very kind of fuller very naturally applied lipstick that's what it looks like once it kind of like uh comes out moves out of the lip line but not, it, it does bleed i do feel after like say two hours when i went and checked it kind of like it's kind of looks like a blurry blurrily applied lipstick if blurrily is a word if that makes sense i hope i'm like uh tra like conveying the um what the lipstick looked like after two hours the pigmentation was there but it wasn't like crisp lip line you know what i mean that it was kind of blurry and it kind of looked very naturally applied kind of a lips so that's something i wanted to say and um it doesn't like kind of form that inner line nothing like that it does kind of bleed and let's talk about if it's really nourishing like a skincare and makeup together one i would say it it does nourishes to be honest i had like a lot of dry patches when i first put it on like in the morning when i when when, when, when i was just trying out lipstick but after like four or five hours i took it off and all the dry patches also kind of came off you know what i mean so i do feel it kind of removed all the dry patches and gave my lips a kind of smoother finish i do kind of still have a little bit of dry patches so it's not like a lip balm or anything like that but i do feel that skincare aspect i do get it you know what i mean it but it's not like uh, incredibly nourishing it's not like a lip balm but i do feel there is a skincare part there it 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 um you know what i'm just gonna say it does nourish your lips 
it does yeah when it's on the lips it really feels really good it's not too too heavy it's very lightweight uh, but i do feel like i have something on my lips you know what i mean oh by the way the fragrance it has that rosy fragrance that most designer makeup products have in them but it's not too too strong it's not like uh it, i don't know it's, it's it's not irritating or anything so it definitely has a fragrance and i do feel it's nourishing because when i put it on like i said it has dry patches when i took it off it kind of like i i mean but guess what my my lips is slowly starting to get feel dry again so i i wouldn't call it like a lip balm kind of it's not like a full-fledged lip balm it's it's not a you know like a skincare product no but it it's 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 a really good product but only downside i would say it's super expensive you definitely i think get it during a sale um because 42 dollars for only 1.8 gram of product and i think you will go through this quickly because of how sheer it is and definitely it would need reapplication it says 24 hour moisture but the staying power of the lipstick is not 24 hours you know what i mean you have to reapply it and whatnot so you will probably go through this lipstick quicker and i do feel it kind of melts <laughs> because it's already melting do you see those like lines there it's kind of melting off so you, you want to be a little bit careful with this formula like apply gently what else all in all i'm actually i'm, I'm quite impressed with the glow aspect because it definitely has that kind of gla I, I don't know like a very like high shine finish and it's not too too glossy and i do feel it is nourishing to a point it does like it did take away all the dry patches when i took my lipstick off and my lips was really smooth but it's not like an altogether lip balm or anything like that so all in all i i, I am quite impressed but the price is really just like standing in the way <laughs> so if you manage to get like a discount sephora sale is going on right now so if you can get a discount i think it's a great time to buy this lipstick at least try it give it a try see how it is i do feel you might i i, I don't feel it would like satisfy everybody to be honest but it is on the sheer side and definitely very buildable some lipsticks if you keep building it's going to like accumulate on your lips and kind of like i don't know it's it's it, it it might like kind of be problematic if you like put a lot of product right a lot of lipstick but i do feel this because the consistency is so thin it doesn't really pose a problem you can apply a lot of layers it doesn't really create any problems at all all in all i um formula a plus packaging also is really good the formula the, the lipstick itself is kind of on the softer side that i have to say and yeah the price is kind of like yeah does that so if you manage to get a discount i think it would be amazing and that's all i wanted to say uh i guess it's time to say goodbye give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and also subscribe and i will see you guys very soon bye, -bye.